So if you have ever played anything at all with any local LM, you will pretty much realize how shit they are compared to online models. Like ChatGPT, any of the ChatGPT models will take most local LM models for walking the park in the end of the week. What comes to mind is, okay, how can I actually utilize local LMs to do something they are pretty decent at? And one of those things, in my mind, is spell checking and grammar checking. With that came the hunt for some sort of a desktop application, maybe some sort of overlay widget that I could use to easily integrate spelling collection with LLMs in my day-to-day -day workflow. And one thing I found is something called Writing Tools. Now, Writing Tools is an open source project that essentially gives you a widget overlay with predefined prompts that you can connect to both online LLMs as well as local LLMs. And this really showcases how easily you can integrate local LLMs with your day-to-day -day workflow, utilizing them for what they are decent at. Proofreading, rewriting stuff, summarizing stuff, etc., etc. And you can also create custom prompts here. So you don't have to, like these aren't hard-coded. You can add your own prompts and whatnot. So go check out writing tools or at GitHub. You can find it under the username, the JT. Has quite a lot of stars. I think it's getting a bit of attraction. And I've been using it for Mac specifically for quite a while. So once you install it, it's a simple drag and drop install as it is with Mac. You will get this icon in the top corner here and you have settings about and reset. And if you go over to settings, you can actually specify what the AI model you want to use. So you want to use the open AI standard slash pointing it at a local LLM, or do you want to use Gemini AI or Mistral AI? I have this point that LM Studio, so let me just bring that up so I can show you. And if you haven't checked out LM Studio before, go check it out. Definitely one of my favorite sort of GUI wrappers for managing and using local large language models. But one of the nicer things is that you have this the My Models tab here where you, where you can pick out all the local models that I have installed and load them and use them. And then you have the search and discover bar here, which allows you to pick from a predefined repository of available models. So that's really neat. I So I have essentially writing tools pointed at my local instance LM Studio. It exposes an open AI structure REST API that we can use. And I have the model specified to Quinn 2.5 and 7 billion. And then obviously we can use LM Studio to prompt it. Hello, how are you? And you know, me running it. Oh, you have to select the model here. Sorry, let's just use Quinn, this one, load the model. It's going to look pretty quick. The reason I'm recording this on the Mac is because the the ARM Silicon hardware is just 10 times better than running it on my Windows desktop and you're hitting the GPU. So that's why I'm using the Mac. So, okay. Let me just click this. Hey, how are you? I'm just computer programs. I'm a feelings, blah, 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 of course. Cool. Okay. So how do we actually use this? So if you look in our writing tool settings here, we have a global shortcut, which is going to be the up arrow control key and my space. So if I go over to a text editor here and I type something like this, what is my favorite base PAL player, which is obviously full of typos. I select this, I click control space, this little bar will come up and I can click proofread. It will submit it and it will paste and replace it. So it understood I was time to trying to type favorite and baseball and it corrected it. And it's freaking amazing. I use this so much throughout the day. Again, being a Norwegian working with mostly English American English speaking clients, this is Absolutely, I'm not gonna go like game change or whatever, but especially when dealing with text in reports that I definitely do not want submitted to an online LLM, using it locally like this with a shortcut, super nice. So another example is let's say, let's go to CNN.com, let's take a news article, let's take uh, here and let's just yoink all this, let's yoink this and let's do this and summarize. It's going to take a bit more time because we're actually providing a lot of text to the model, but we get some key points. The burden of being a miraculous survivor. Brendan Mac... Oh, I'm not going to try that. But yeah, gave us key points to the highlights of the summary of this article. Works great. Obviously, we can, on the up-to-date version, we can actually add custom ones. You see, I have one here called, that's correct Norwegian, which is an attempt at using the local LMs with a different system prompt to actually correct Norwegian instead of English. But if you click the plus error here, add custom commands, we can add commands, we can give it a system prompt or a pre-prompt that it will give to the model in order to tell it what to do and specify a different icon. And this is, again, this is a little thing, but this is one of those integrating the AI tools into your daily workflow thing that I absolutely love and I use it all the time. So
let's do another example here let's say we want to write something more friendly so let's say I, i'm writing a really bad email so first of all fuck you i hate how you told me my work was bad i did in fact follow the guidelines how can you not see this are you blind so this is a very unprofessional email let's further start off by just correcting it first so let me close this window here select it and then i'll correct it so i proof it first fix it pretty quick so first of all i hate how it opens it actually already removed the fuck click this and do let's say professional Regarding your feedback on my work, I would like to clarify that while I adhered strictly to the private guidelines, it appears there might have been a misunderstanding. Could you please provide further insight or guidance to assisting me in your in meeting your expectations? Very much professional compared to what I originally wrote. Again, writing tools is just one of those, for me now, must-have things, especially when I have a beefed-up uh, Apple machine running on silicon that just freaking rips through these local models like butter, ob obviously given how big they are, right? So... Go check out writing tools. Go check out Elm Studio. Hopefully you learned something and this was interesting. Please leave a subscribe and comment. I'm all open for suggestions for more content and see you all next Sunday.